Hello everyone, this is Pujita. Welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we are going to solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. Like, share, subscribe our channel for more videos like this. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we are going to cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific trainings, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science and many other things. For more details, please connect with us. Let's start now. There are 10 men and 11 women in an office. In how many ways can a team of 5 men and 5 women be selected? So, uh, it is directly a selection based question. Total 10 men are there and 11 women are there. In this, we are supposed to choose 5 men and 5 women. From this 5 people and from this 5 women. 5 women. And they are asking us how many ways are there. Actually, this is a fill in the blank question. Uh, you just need to type the answer in the fill in the blank. I just place the options here for just convenience purpose. It's a fill in the blank question that appeared in digital uh, advanced numerical exam. So you just need to type your answer here. So you need to identify the value here. You cannot write it in the form of permutations or combinations. So firstly, we are just going to select the people. That means it is the case of combination. Combination. So we are. it is the case of combination. So out of 10, I'm selecting 5. So that is 10C5 combination. So 10C5. And out of 11, I'm selecting 5 again. So 11C5. So this is my answer. That's it. But you need to find out this value. Uh, they just gave the fill in the blank here. These options are not there in your exam. This is just for convenience purpose we have placed here. So you need to type the answer here. So what is the value of 10C5? Actually, NCR formula we can take. Uh, and you can apply it. Uh, then the, there is a shortcut you can directly do. The value of R is 5. So from 10, write 5 numbers in reverse order. 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 divided by 5 factorial. That's it. 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 into. Now same. five. So write 5 numbers in reverse order. 11 into 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 divided by 5 factorial. Whatever is that value of R, that we should divide them factorial. So 1 into 3 into 4 into 5. It's just for easy pur uh, convenience purpose of cancelling. I just wrote like this. So first we'll cancel them. 3 into 3, 9, 1, 9 cancelled. Uh, 4 into 2, 8 cancelled. 5 into 2, 10. Okay, now whatever is left over, 5 is left over here, 5 ones and 5 twos. 2 ones and 2 twos here, 2 ones and 2 fours. So that's it. Remaining whatever is left over, we need to multiply them. And remember one thing you are going to have on screen calculator actually. Uh, so there is no necessary to worry about this calculation part. So just use your on screen calculator 9 into 7 into 6 into 4 into 7. Yes, 4 into uh, 7 and here we had 11. So, into 11 also. So, it will give you 116424. So, that goes with B here. But you just need to fill the blank there. We are supposed to type it out there. So, you cannot type it in the form of combination like 10C5 and 11C5. You need to use this, uh, this calculation part and you need to type the value there. So you can even use the formula of NCR also. There is no mistake. It is just the shortcut that I have directly written here. So NCR is equals to N factorial divided by R factorial into N minus R factorial. So you can even do it like 10 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 10 minus R mi N minus R factorial. So again 5 factorial like this. Uh, same thing goes for this also into 11 C5 means 11 factorial divided by 5 factorial into 6 factorial. So then this, this is the shortcut. So if R value is 5, just write 5 numbers in the reverse order because that is factorial. So we are going to write it in reverse and then divide it with the R factorial. Whatever is the value of R, that factorial only you should divide it. Same thing here also. Here it is 11 C5. So first we divided the uh, with 5 factorial and wrote 5 numbers from the reverse. 11. So what's the answer? 116424. So you need to type this answer. Type this one. This is a fill in the blank question. 
So it is direct selections out of 10 people pi and out of 11 people pi. So that's a direct selection, selection based equation. Some students of a school are standing in a row. Anvisha was 15th from the left and Kush was 6th from the right. So some students are standing in the row. This is the left end and this is the right end. So Anvisha was 15th from the left. We do not know where it is exactly. We just assume somewhere. 15th from the left side. For suppose this position, left side. This is the left side. So from here, 15th. And then Kush was 6th from the right side. So this side, it is 6th. 6th position from the right side. Now, if they interchange their positions, so basically this is Kush and this is Anvisha. If they interchange their positions, means if they are going to reverse, uh, if they are going to change their positions, then uh, Anvisha becomes 24th from the left. If they interchange the positions, she comes here. Then from the left side, if you count, this is nothing but the 24th one. Now, they are asking how many students are there in the row. So, that's actually a simple question. What it needs to do, do not focus upon left, right, all of this. Just focus upon the position. Any one position, you should know from the left side and right side. For suppose if I take this one, I just know from the left it is 15. But if I take this one, here from the right it is 6 first when Kush is there. And when An Anvisha interchange, I know it is 24th from the left. So this particular position, I just know it is uh, 24th from the left side and 6th from the right side. If once you know this, uh, one particular position, if you know this, all you need to do is just add both of this left and right position and subtract one. So 24 plus 6 minus 1 we are supposed to do. Definitely you need to consider minus 1. That will give you the total number of students. 24 plus 6 is 30. 30, uh, 30 minus 1. 29 students are there. Why are we doing this minus 1? It's just because you are counting this particular person two times. From the left side, you are taking the position. From the right side, you are taking the position. That means you are counting the person two times. That's why you are supposed to subtract one time. Or else think like this. 24th from the left, that means here how many people should be there? 23 people should be there. And this is the 24th person. 6th from the right, that means here 5 people should be there. So this is one position only. Uh, here 5 people, here 23 people. So 23 plus 5, 28. And this one person, 29 only. But what happens when we count it as 24 and 6? We are taking it two times. 24th, one time we took this position. 6th, one more time we took this position. That's why we subtract this one. That's why we are just subtracting this one here. Subtraction of one happens only because of that. So concentrate on one position. Either that is uh, this one or this one. Concentrate on one position. You should know it from the left end and you should know it from the right end. If you know this, just add both of them and subtract one. So the answer is not 30, it's 29. Option C. So how many students are there? 29 students are there. I hope you understood the questions that we discussed in this video. For more videos like this, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.